All right, so we're going to get a SketchUp terrain into Revit. So you start a new SketchUp file, um, delete anything at, that's in it, and then go to geolocation. Once you do that, it's going to show you a Google Earth map, and you just navigate to wherever in the world your site is. Um, it'll pop up eventually. So there's there's my Google Earth map. I'm going to navigate to my site and get it approximately within that boundary of that box. And once I zoom in and kind of I try to fill the screen with um, the area that I'm trying to snip out. And then you're going to use the grab command or select rather, and you're going to you bring these pins to the boundary of the approximate brown boundary of where you want to snip out and hit grab. Now what that's going to do is that's going to pull a um, terrain snapshot from your site into SketchUp. And there's a couple of different layers in there. The first thing I always do is save as, uh, export rather, a 3D model, and that's going to give me a DWG file, which is the actual um, terrain information that I can import into Revit. So we'll export that 3D model, uh, just save it wherever I'm saving it to my Dropbox folder. So we've got an AutoCAD file with the terrain shape. The other thing we need is we need the image file. So if you go to the material editor and use the eyedropper, you can actually uh, select. you got to unlock it first. So unlock the object, then select with the eyedropper the image map. See how I did that? And then you can go to where you save as the image map. It'll pop that image up, and you just save that to the same place. Uh, I'm sticking it in my Dropbox folder. So I'm saving the image map as a JPEG as well as the terrain in a CAD file. You need both. So now you go in your Revit file, um, import or insert rather uh, a CAD. Go and find your, your site CAD file that you just created your terrain out of. Open that up. And you can see it's going to give you a, a, a gridded terrain. Now, my site is relatively flat for the most part, uh, comparatively, but now what we're doing is we're going into the Topo tools. We're going to create from import, and we're going to select that CAD object, and it's going to create the terrain from the CAD DWG file. Once you do that, you can scrap the, G the DWG altogether if you don't want it. So I don't need it anymore, so you could just scrap it, delete it. Now, the other part of this is we've got to paint our terrain with the image map that we saved out uh, from SketchUp as well. So you're going to go into your material manager, create a new material, name it whatever you want. And under appearance for the image file, go back and find your, your JPEG file that you saved out of SketchUp. Now, this part's kind of tricky because it doesn't just magically come in uh, perfectly aligned. There's some, there's some trial and error to getting this right. Um, I've only had to do this a couple of times, so I don't know how to solve this riddle for every single situation. But um, there are a couple of things that you need to know. So basically what I do is I start and I orient my site back north, and then I take a look at my map. And obviously it's not the scale. It's not showing anything like what the map showed. So I go back into my material manager, go back to my image scale, which is under appearance. And you can see my map is one foot square, which is not even remotely close. So what I'm going to do is in order to get this size, I got to go back into SketchUp. I'm going to go back to a top view and I'm going to draw a rectangle approximately and now this isn't going to be perfectly to scale but i can get it pretty close i'm going to draw a rectangle from the top left corner of my terrain in sketchup to the bottom right corner of my terrain and i'm not actually going to click anything i'm just going to kind of hover over there and get it close and then i'm going to screenshot the dimensions that are in the far uh, bottom right corner of sketchup so I, I took a screenshot of that. I have snag it, but snippet tool works just as good. That size, that dimension is what I need to, to put into Revit to get the scale right. So 3,000 whatever feet by 3,000 whatever feet width and height. Hit apply. Hit OK. Hit apply. 
And that's going to be a heck of a lot closer. Now, the first thing you see is I'm turned 90 degrees the wrong way. So now I'm going to go back into appearance, go back into my image file and rotate it. Um, I ended up having to do 270 degrees. And that flipped it in the map vertically, but on the terrain object, it was correct. So um, that's the, the, the quick and dirty uh, five minute how to do this.